1952 and 1964. But according to the distraught sister Lucia, God remained displeased. The world would suffer for it. Because the consecration didn't take place when God wished it to take place, Russia spread her errors throughout the world. Just as the apparition of Mary had allegedly warned, China became a communist state in 1949. Fidel Castro officially declared Cuba communist in 1961. By the early 1980s, nearly a third of the world's population lived under communist rule. Russia had successfully spread communism and atheism. Some Bible experts suggest the spread of communism was also foretold in the book of Revelation, sometimes called the book of the apocalypse. In Apocalypse 12, verse 3, it talks about a great red dragon, and he swept a third of the stars. And what's also interesting is at the height of its power, the Communist Empire held about a third of the world's population. But is this hard evidence that multiple prophecies had converged with actual events, and that the second secret may have foretold the spread of communism? In the meantime, a third and more horrifying secret was yet to be divulged, one that, according to believers, may play out in our lifetime. In 1941, Sister Lucia wrote down the first two secrets at the request of the bishop of Liera Fatima. And the bishop said to Sister Lucia later on, there's more, we know there's more. When Sister Lucia fell ill in 1943, the bishop ordered her to write down the third secret that she had kept hidden for so many years. Lucia complied, but the world would have to wait a little longer. She wrote out the secret and sealed it in an envelope, requesting that it only be opened in 1960 or upon her death. But why 1960? And what are the explosive contents within this envelope? A widely believed account suggests that in 1917, an apparition of the Virgin Mary appeared to three children in the small Portuguese village of Fatima. She shared with them three secrets containing a series of ominous prophecies. By 1960, many devout Catholics around the world were certain that the prophecies in the first two secrets had already come true. But the third secret, and any prophecies it may hold, remained a mystery. Equally mysterious was Sister Lucia's directive that the third secret not be revealed until 1960, when she said the world could properly interpret it. Every subsequent pope after that was given the secret to read in a, in a sealed envelope, the Pope read the secret and decided whether the time was right to reveal that secret or not. And most of the Popes after that said, the time's not right yet. They sealed it back up again and they put it back in the Vatican archives. Many wonder why the Vatican supposedly went against Lucia's wishes to reveal the secret in 1960. Public speculation about its contents ranged from nuclear Armageddon to deep rifts in the Catholic Church. Nineteen sixty, the height of the Cold War. The U.S. was locked in a nuclear stalemate with the Soviet Union. The spread of communism loomed a direct result of World War II. When Cuba fell to communist rebels, Marxist ideology gained a foothold in the Western Hemisphere. There was this domino theory that once one country becomes communist, it falls like a domino, and another country becomes communist, and another, and another, and another. In response, the CIA planned the Bay of Pigs invasion to overthrow Fidel Castro's Cuban regime government will do everything it possibly can to make sure that there are no Americans involved in the action. But this coup attempt failed. 
tensions between the U.S. and Cuba's sponsor, the USSR, escalated. Those who believed in the prophecies of Fatima feared that the threat of nuclear war was perhaps the third secret of the prophecy. Still, others suspected the third and final secret pertained specifically to the Catholic Church itself. And this, according to some, could be a link to the predictions of 16th century mystic Nostradamus. Nostradamus seems to have written about the papacy in quatrains that have intrigued scholars ever since. After the seat is held 17 years, five will change in like elapsed terms. Then will one be elected in similar times, to whom the Romans will not much conform. Pope Pius XI, the one apparently prophesied in Lucia's account of the second secret of Fatima, held the holy seat for 17 years, exactly the amount of time mentioned in Nostradamus's prediction. And it was during his pontificate that World War II began. As was also predicted by the second secret, according to Lucia. Could this be a previously unexplored connection between the three secrets of Fatima and Nostradamus? Five will change in like elapsed terms. Then will one be elected in similar times, to whom the Romans will not much conform. The fifth pope after Pius XI was Pope John Paul II, the first non-Italian pontiff in 450 years. Many Catholics believe that John Paul is the very subject of the third secret of Fatima. Pope John Paul II, his motto was totus tuus, I am all yours. His pontificate was dedicated to Our Lady. John Paul II said the message of Fatima is more important today than ever. But what is that message? Some experts believe the third and final secret reveals a corruption of the Vatican, an abandonment of the principles of the scriptures, and the eventual demise of the Catholic Church. Apostasy is a giving up of the real Catholic faith completely, seemingly happening inside the Catholic Church and starting from the very top. But the Catholic Church perseveres, meaning it is unlikely that its destruction is what the Vatican might have been concealing. This leads some to suspect the final secret of Fatima could indeed be a prophecy of nuclear apocalypse and our ultimate annihilation. A blessed apparition, three shepherd children, and three dark secrets, all supposedly shrouded in the protective armor of the Vatican. These are the prophecies of Fatima. For over 80 years, the enduring mystery of the third secret defied explanation. This is because the second secret supposedly claimed that if Russia was not consecrated, nations would be destroyed. Many Catholics feared the final secret contained an horrific prophecy foretelling nuclear war. Then, on May 13, 2000, the 83-year anniversary of the first apparition, the Vatican announced to the world that the third secret would finally be revealed. The Vatican published the mysterious contents of Sister Lucia's letter received in 1944, which detailed the final prophecy. The first part of the third secret told of averted disaster. We saw an angel with a flaming sword in his left hand. Flashing, it gave out flames that looked as though they would set the world on fire. But they died out in contact with the splendor that Our Lady radiated towards him from her right hand. It conveyed the idea that a terrible fire would engulf the earth. And as the angel was ready to touch the earth with the flaming sword, the Blessed Mother put her hand up and stopped the sword from touching the, the world. 